Well, good morning, everybody. Um, I hope you can hear me um, and uh, welcome. It's a very great pleasure to be able to um, open today's events with the first of two. This will be a discussion about the results uh, of the uh, five country research project that uh, ODI undertook with financial support <coughs> from DFID. And it's extremely important that this research has um, taken place, and I'll say a few words about that in a moment. But first of all, let me uh, just uh, do a little bit of housekeeping before we kick off. Uh, first of all, to let you know that this event is on the record. Uh, if there's an alarm that happens to go off, we have to make our way out through the doors by ODI's reception. Uh, we have uh, also to note that there are publications related to this event and ODI's work on is on the table outside and on the stands in the reception desk, so do please pick some of those up um, as you leave. Also, um, for all the speakers, uh, we have to speak into the mic, so I'm just going to make that general point because uh, there are people listening to us outside of this room far away, so they need to hear us too. So those, that is just by way of very short introduction. But I wanted just to um, say a little bit uh, by way of, of introduction to this um, session that uh, what is exciting about the research that uh, DFID has sponsored is that it's qualitative research and there's far too little work that actually goes beyond the statistics to look at the context, look at the ways that people are living, the lived experience of, of being poor and also how do they respond to receiving the cash transfers, the assistance that they get? How do they see it in terms of changes it brings about in their lives, the potential it has for changing uh, the, their, their opportunities, <coughs> and indeed impacts on their well-being? I think one of the exciting aspects of the project we've done is it also highlights some of the psych psychosocial aspects of um, transfers, that once people receive uh, this cash, that can transform the way they feel about themselves as well as transforming the way they uh, behave towards each other within the communities and how in turn they are treated. Issues such as self-esteem and so forth are uh, strongly associated with the receipt of uh, a, a certain amount of money that helps them to escape the worst effects of, of poverty and exclusion. So there's some very interesting findings that uh, we have um, been able to um, discover and thanks to the uh, enormous effort of our partners and local teams, uh, without which uh, the, the textual richness uh, of the research uh, would not have been possible. And I think uh, that has also helped to, to strengthen the researchers' findings in the sense that it's helped to uncover all sorts of hidden dimensions, reach people who might not necessarily be included in the normal pr process of research, but to find those who are deeply marginalized and try to incorporate their voices in the project to be able to reflect upon um, the effects that they perceive uh, uh, from receiving the transfers and being part of the program. So there's lots of exciting um, material here, enormously rich uh, body of research that's come out in the five reports, the five country reports, and in the um, synthesis report, which is now published. And there's a, a lot of material online and also the results of the photographic work will, of course, be um, available for you to see at the OXO Gallery later today, and there'll be more announcements about the details of that later. Um, what I want to do now, because we are going to be um, trying to stick to time, and it's my role to make sure everybody does, so I'd better do it myself, um, is to introduce uh, our speakers, um, and uh, then I will hand over to them. Um, we will be starting with, um, uh, first of all, with two presentations. Um, first of all, by um, Dr. Dawood al Deek, who's the Assistant Deputy Minister for Planning and Administrative Development, who's in charge of policy and strategic planning, budgeting, fundraising, and funded projects, human resources, development, personnel, and financial affairs. And uh, Fiona Samuels will follow, who has a PhD in social anthropology and is a research fellow in the social development program at ODI. Fiona specializes in research on health, HIV and migration, and is the research manager for the Transforming Cash Transfers project. She's also a key member of the Gates Funded Development Progress Stories Initiative at ODI. So what I would like to do is to uh, hand over to uh, Daoud Aldik for the um, 
first presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Changed it. Oh, you want to to go? Possibly it makes sense if we go forward. Okay, yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, would you like yeah. to? Which of you would like to lead off? So, um, let me introduce. Um, let me introduce Nicola, who has not yet been introduced. Um, Nicola Jones has a PhD in political science and is a research fellow in the social development program at ODI. She specialises in research and advisory work on gender, social justice, and social protection, and is the lead qualitative researcher for the Transforming Cash Transfers project. She also has just finished a multi-country assessment of gender and social protection in Southeast Asia for UN Women. So, Nicola, you can start, and then Fiona, and then we'll move over to Maurice. Is that all right? Thanks very much. Thank you. 